Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Triton 500 SE and what's inside of it. To take this laptop apart, you need to undo 9 Torx head screws. Then, you need to pry the bottom panel with a plastic tool, starting from the back. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Inside, we see the huge 100 watt hours battery pack. It lasted us for more than 11 hours of web browsing, or 8 hours and 30 minutes of video playback. Before you move on, unplug the battery connector from the motherboard. Then, you have to undo two Phillips head screws and take the battery out of the device. This is where it gets tricky. As you can see, the motherboard is turned upside down, so you don't have immediate access to the cooling and the upgrade options. However, the process is not difficult, you just need to be patient. First, unplug all of the cables that connect external elements to the motherboard. This includes the one for the speakers, keyboard, touchpad, and more. After that, undo all four Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard, plus another four, holding the fans. Then, you can carefully take the motherboard out of the chassis and turn it around. Unfortunately, the memory is soldered to the motherboard. This laptop uses quad-channel DDR5 RAM, working at 4800 MHz. On the bright side, you get two M.2 slots, with support of Gen 4 drives and RAID mode.
cooling-wise, there are three heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. The hot air is exhausted thanks to three fans, one of which has metal blades. As you can see, there is a fourth heat pipe, which takes care of the VRMs. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.